Hey, what is going on guys? So have you guys ever been playing Tarkov and you go to get something off the flea market and as soon as it's available, like as soon as it's available, you click on purchase, you click on confirm and what do you hit with? Bump bump, offer not found. Now, every time you go to buy something, if you're trying to get something that's the cheapest price and as soon as it's ready and you can never get it, I'm gonna show you how to fix that with some tips, some tricks, some things to get you on the same playing field as everybody else. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so we're going to hop in. I'm going to show you guys how to fix this issue. Now, I want to make this very clear on why I'm making this video. This video isn't here to be like, hey, let's exploit Tarkov. I, I want to surface this issue because I want the issue to get fixed because you're, what I'm going to tell you guys actually impacts the game way more than it does in just the flea market. Um, and I'm not really sure how much stuff you can break with it, but from what I've seen so far, um, there's some stuff that's, that's pretty, pretty insane. Now... In terms of the flea market, right? In terms of the flea market, as you guys know, uh, let's find, what's a hot item? Hang on a second. Let's go in my lavatory real quick. And screw nuts, perfect. Oh, hey, get items. Hell yeah, plug champ. All right, so perfect. So filter by item. So we'll go for screw nuts. Why do we go for screw nuts? Because everybody is buying screw nuts. Things available, I go to buy it, I can't buy it. Why can't I buy it? I'll tell you why. A lot of the timers in Tarkov well validated by the server at some point mainly run off of your pc's internal clock yes i know that sounds crazy and it sounds nutty so the reason why you go to buy stuff and you're like all right cool as soon as it's ready boom offer not found boom offer not found not found not found not found is because what i've found out is that based on when your your pc auto syncs your settings or your uh, your your clock you can be up to 15 to 20 seconds behind somebody else. So what does that mean? Well, that means that like all these auctions right here for me that say there's 10 seconds left, somebody's already purchased it and I can't even click the button yet. And so in order to fix this, you just change the clock on your PC and you figure out where the threshold is within the server and you sync your PC back up to server time so you can actually buy stuff. I'll show you how you guys do it. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on your clock that's in your taskbar and you're gonna adjust date time. This is gonna be set to on by default, most likely. If not, turn it on, okay, and hit sync. This is gonna hit a Windows server and validate the time within your PC. From there, turn it off, close this window. You're gonna go ahead, you're gonna hit the Windows key and you're typing control panel. You're gonna go to your control panel. And when you bring the control panel up, you're gonna to go to clock and region. From clock and region, under date and time, hit set time and date, which will bring this up. Now, the reason we have to do this here, and we couldn't do it on this menu, because, see right here, change the date and time manually. This menu only allows you to get uh, as granular as one minute, and we need to be granular to the second. So. This isn't going to work. So that's why we have to go into the control panel to get the old school uh, Windows uh, date and time uh, settings. So what I'm going to do here, check this out, is I'm going to hit refresh on these auctions. Or these, 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 whatever they are, deals, auctions, I don't know. I play WoW. And then I'm going to change my time and my date. And what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forward this by like a few seconds. Not, not nothing too crazy. So I'm going to set this to 20 seconds after. And when this gets to like 16, I hit okay, boop, and all of those just dropped. These are all available sooner for me now. Now the question is, did I go far enough? Can I actually buy something now? Highly unlikely, but we'll try it. Oh, hey, looks like I nailed it on that one. First shot, let's go, Puck Champ. So what happens, guys, is the further that you go, you can actually get ahead of the server. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I, if I fast forward this a few more seconds, so now I'm uh, three more seconds up. So this is eight seconds ahead of where I was before. And I go to buy something, like essentially like before it's available. So I need something as soon as it, as soon as it clicks over. Let's see, this one down here is gonna be four seconds. This should give me an error message that the item's not available. Yeah, so I'm gonna get a 1512 offer not yet available. So this is what I mean by like, you can't really, uh, glitch or exploit because you can't buy it 
before the server will allow you. But what this does is it removes the discrepancy, okay? It closes that gap between your computer and what the server thinks. When this message happens, by the way, it sends you back to the front end. Uh, so far, I haven't had anything bad happen. Uh, and then you can just kind of go back into trading and figure it out. And so now if I go to buy this again, and I'll, I'll show you guys again, as soon as this is over, I'm going to get that error 1512 again, and it's going to kick me out to the front end. So here we go. As soon as it's up, offer not yet available. And again, this is because I've accelerated the clock in my PC past whatever time the server is set to. So now I'll go back into trading, go back into my clock, and I'm going to bring this down a little bit, right? So I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to let my, my clock here get to like 10 and bring it back to six. So by doing that, what did I do? I took off about four seconds from my clock. So I slowed myself down again. So we'll go back in here. We're going to hit refresh. These things are running. I should have hit that one, but I was too slow. So here in uh, 18 seconds, we'll try to get this top one. And if I got it right, I'll be able to buy it. If I went too far back, someone will buy it before me. And if I didn't go back far enough, I'm going to get that 1512 error once again. So here, let's see what happens here in five seconds. So it's pretty crazy, but we'll see. Offer not found. Somebody else is more in sync with the server than me, and they're trying to buy these items. So now when this happens, I go back to my clock, change time and date. I'm going to hit this up. I typically, when I, when I get close to the end of a minute, I let it roll over the minute and then I adjust it because like really wonky stuff can happen. So over here, what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to set this to 10 seconds. I'm going to wait for this to get to eight seconds. Click okay. Now I am forward two seconds. Now I can buy stuff because now I'm in sync with the server and I get the purchase button when I'm supposed to get the purchase button. Everybody else, most likely you guys at home, are still staring at a timer when somebody else has already come in and bought the item. Like I said, you had literally zero chance. And, and this in general, in general, there's things all over Tarkov that work off of this system. Uh, I don't know if I have any hideout upgrades available right now. I'm going to check real quick and see if I can do an upgrade. Um, but for example, let's see. Um, I don't think I have any upgrades I can do. I don't think any of these are available, but no. So what I noticed was, is when I was like in the hideout and I did an upgrade, right? I do the upgrade. It'd say I have four hours left. I could go to my clock and I could fast forward it four hours. And the timer for the upgrade would drop all the way to zero. The upgrade timer was tied to my local PC clock, not a server. It wouldn't actually complete because I'm guessing when it's done, it goes for server validation, but you can mess with that. Things like construction time and stuff in your hideout, those are all on the server because I'm unable to manipulate that time remaining using my uh, my local um, uh, my local clock. Um, so, and there's just, there's a lot of other places. Some of them I'm not gonna mention because it's actually really, really bad and that stuff I don't wanna spread. But, um, but yeah, so again, guys, if you're having a hard time in the uh, flea market purchasing anything, it's because your PC is out of sync and you are no longer uh, in line uh, with the server. And so what you need to do, sync your time, go to your control panel, adjust date and time, and then just up your seconds little by little until you've gone too far or until you notice that you can buy every single auction. After I've done this, it works so well because I can go and just shop and not worry about it. And it makes, you know, things like making money stuff is way easier because again, it's not giving you an advantage. It's actually setting you up for how the game should be to begin with, which is in sync with the server. The fact that it's just based off your internet, uh, your internet timestamp, it allows for, like I said, I've, my PC has been up to 20 seconds off from server time. So I've had to go forward almost a half a minute. So, so, so when I'm sitting there staring at an auction and I see 20 seconds left, Someone else has already bought it and I can't even click the button yet. And that sucks. So hopefully, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please drop them below. More than happy to answer them for you. Uh, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, if you want to catch me live, you can catch me live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Cardo. Uh, usually live three to four nights a week. I think that's it. So until next time, dudes, stay humble and be excellent to each other. Much love, dudes. And uh, 
See you on the flip side. Peace out.